May the love and peace of the Lord be with us all, as we listen to today's Gospel and Reflection. Let us now listen to the Word of God. October 22, 2024, Tuesday of the 29th week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, Let your waists be girded, and let lamps be burning in your hands. And let you yourselves be like men awaiting their Lord, when he will return from the wedding, so that, when he arrives and knocks, they may open to him promptly. Blessed are those servants whom the Lord, when he returns, will find being vigilant. Amen I say to you, that he will gird himself and have them sit down to eat, while he, continuing on, will minister to them. And if he will return in the second watch, or if in the third watch, and if he will find them to be so, then blessed are those servants. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection How can you prepare yourself today to be more vigilant and responsive to the opportunities God places in your path? Jesus said to his disciples, Gird your loins and light your lamps, and be like servants who await their master's return from a wedding, ready to open immediately when he comes and knocks. Luke 12 verses 35 to 36 What does it mean to gird your loins? This phrase, which is not commonly used today, literally means, tighten your belt. It traditionally refers to one who is wearing a long robe that makes it difficult to move quickly and easily. Thus, to gird your loins means that you tuck in the long robe and tighten your belt so that you are prepared for some physical activity. It was also commonly used to exhort those preparing for battle to get ready. Symbolically, then, this phrase simply means to be ready for something difficult or challenging. It means to be vigilant and prepared. Spiritually speaking, Jesus is telling his disciples to be ready for the spiritual battle that awaits them. Jesus then tells his disciples to light their lamps. That phrase could have a variety of meanings, such as do not remain in the darkness of sin or ignorance, or let the light of charity shine forth as you navigate through life, or to allow the light of truth to shine within your mind. Hence, by the light of faith, they are to be prepared and vigilant, ready to do all that the Lord sends them to do. Today's Gospel ends by Jesus saying that the disciples will be truly blessed if they remain vigilant, even until the second or third watch of the night. Some church fathers see this as a reference to three periods in one's life, childhood being the first watch, middle age being the second, and old age being the third watch. With these meanings understood, one message we can take from this gospel is that Jesus is calling us to be vigilant in our faith at every moment of our lives. For those who have lived many years, it may be useful to look back at how faithful you have been throughout every period of your life. God wants to use you in many ways during childhood, through your middle age, and even in old age. The journey of faith must never end. Instead, it must continually deepen as you age. But this will only be possible if you gird your loins and light your lamps. You must continually be vigilant, continually attentive to the light of faith, and continually be ready to act every time God inspires you to act. Reflect today upon the lifelong journey of faith and service of God to which you are called. Being a Christian is not simply something you are born into. If you were born into the faith, then ponder especially what you have done throughout your life to daily deepen and strengthen that faith. Ponder whether or not you have diligently responded to the countless inspirations of the Holy Spirit to spread the light of faith to others. 
If you have been truly faithful throughout your life, then give thanks to God and recommit yourself to this fidelity for the rest of your life. If you have lacked faith and vigilant attentiveness to the will of God, then place that in the hands of God's mercy and resolve from this day forward to do all you can to respond to the will of God the moment God calls. Let us pray. My most merciful Lord, I thank you for the countless ways throughout my life that you have spoken to me, calling me to fulfill my mission of faith and love in this world. I commit to you, this day, to always remain vigilant and attentive to you, every time you call. Use me, dear Lord, so that I may bring the light of your saving gospel to a world in need. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel and Reflection. We hope that our small effort gave you a bit of inspiration as you journey your day with God. Please give us a like so this will reach to as many people as possible. Again, thank you and may God bless us all.